as we enter the premises of Tsembule Steel Rolling Mills, all is visible is an empty shell of the once vibrant factory. The doors to the factory have been padlocked as the factory lies in limbo. Over 100 workers who are the living here continue to ponder as uncertain future lies ahead. We want the government to come up and they will pass. So it's not easy to go somewhere to look for a job. Government tried to pass to settle those debtors and then we go ahead. Now entangled in a cobweb of debt, one of the proprietors, Christopher Sembuya, is appealing to the president to come to his aid. His property, worth 50 billion shillings, is under receivership. Quickly appealing to government to help us. The government, the, member, the members of parliament, and the, the people of Uganda to, to help us get out of this situation. Because the company we have built up uh, still is the biggest in terms of African, in East Africa, belong, owned by Africans. In the, in, in, the, in this region. Sembuya only needs 10 billion shillings to pay off the debt and reclaim his business. It's called Euro Metal. Euro Metal is under the control of a company called Sebalu and, and, and Uli Advocates. I think these are people who have now the acting, lawyers acting on behalf of that company. We used to have staff, which is quite a big number, a big number, which will be employed. This is where we need an urgent action from government, parliament. I don't know whether that parliament can appreciate what it is. And what you can see here is a steel rolling mill that manufactures iron bars valued at 24 billion shillings and has already been taken over by Indians. Sembuya says it's only government that can rescue him. We had taken some loans from a bank, Bank of Baroda, and we were unable to cover. The interest increased, and uh, as a result, the bank wanted to sell off all our properties. So it was a total loss to us, but in some cases, they were intending to sell off the whole part of it. We pay off the loan, and probably, if we assisted further, claim back that portion which has been taken over by the Asian group from India. Sembuya says he approached the Trade Minister Miria Chambade for help, but in vain. We have approached the, the Honorable Minister of, of Industry, uh, Miria Chambade. I think they are keen, but these issues requires government and parliament. To His Excellency the President, Parliament and the people of Uganda to help us simply come out of the problems we are now facing. Same we are now battling the ravages of old life says the president should come to his rescue like other investors who have been given tax holidays. You know, for all the years I've been around, we have been expanding and we never had this incident. But now when I see that this is we are losing out maybe to foreigners this is where it's, it's very painful to see it jingo francis ntv